What is going on everyone? Chris with Journalist Comics of Pop Culture. This is our top 10 hottest selling comics of the week. Our weekly video series brought to you by PopCultureZone.com. Before we get into this week's top 10 books, don't forget to check out PopCultureZone.com's. Their links are below. Check them out if you're interested in getting your hands on some awesome exclusive and incentive variants at affordable costs, CGC slabs, and of course all different kinds of pop culture items including toys and statues and if you're buying raw books they ship at a flat rate fee of only four dollars and 99 cents pop culture zone is also on ebay where they still hold a 100 percent customer feedback rating with over 8,000 ratings this year alone those links are below check them out and make sure you follow them on ebay as well we are going to be looking at the top 10 hottest comics from last week with a one week later update all right i'm still going to be picking my top three picks off of that list looking at the recent numbers comparing them to the numbers from when they made the list and then it's going to come down to one of two things props or flops am i giving these books props or did these books flop hardcore that's right it's called the top 10 look back props or flops ivan we want your input as well you are a guest co-host the show as much yours as it is ours please please add your input in on this but before we get into your input and the top three on chris's list we're gonna go in the top 10 list again we're gonna use cover prices top 10 list it's almost officially a week old it comes out every monday uh so here we go at number 10 we have West Coast Avengers number 56, the first cover appearance of Dark Scarlet Witch, argued to be the first full appearance. At number nine, we have New Avengers Illuminati number one. At number eight, we have Zero One, the first appearance of Zero. At number seven, we have Superior Iron Man number one. Why? At number six, we have Something is Killing the Children number 21, the Ashcan variant. Number five, we have Iron Man. Number 17, the Black History Month variant. Goodness. I I'd love to get your input on this, Ivan, once we get to that part. But this, this, this cover was hard to find, but it is. I love it. Uh, at number four, we have Iron Fist. Number one. Number three of Amazing Spider-Man. Number 307, the origin of the chameleon and a classic McFarlane cover there. At number two, we have Twig. Number one, the Ashcan version. And at number one, we have Avengers. Or, I'm sorry, New Avengers number seven quite the list chris uh i really had a, a few to pick i really wanted to talk about dark scarlet i'm hoping that's gonna uh hit the list again this coming week because if it does i might have to talk about it next week but it didn't make my top three but let's start with my third pick iron man 17 this is the black history month variant and uh obviously nothing uh important about cover a we are focusing on this beautiful beautiful variant featuring uh riri let's look at the numbers and then i'm going to talk about it and remember folks props or flops <laughs> 129 percent upward trend in sales now when it made the top 10 list last week the high raw was 25 dollars. this week's high raw was 14 dollars. so this is what I want to make known to everyone. And I'll probably be repeating this in this segment week to week because I do not want all of you to focus solely on highs, okay? Highs are fun to look at and to gauge, but they don't speak to the totality of what's going on in the market. Because if we look at this, where it says right here, last week's fair market value really sat between $16 and $20. That $25 sale was definitely a bit of an outlier because if you, you know, didn't grab this book on, on a pull list or, or uh, ordered beforehand, you know, before it started hitting the secondary market, you could probably get this book this last week anywhere from $16 to $20, okay? So seeing a, a high at around $14 this week isn't that far off from that fair market value. And if you look at all the sales this week, after it made the, the, the top 10 list, $12, $14 is roughly what you're paying for. So props or flops on this one, I'm definitely going to give this book props. I got to give this book props because 
One, it's a freaking absolute beautiful cover. It, it really is. Um, I pick up Iron Man. I picked up a couple of the, the Black History Month uh, variants, but I do my orders a lot before the cover art is out. So sometimes I'm going in blind. I do not know if I order this one. If I didn't, I would absolutely pay 12, 13, 14, 15, maybe even 16. I don't know if I'd go up past 20, but I would definitely pay that much for this book just because it's a beautiful cover. We, some people sit and pay 1999, 25, 30, 50, 60 for these incentive variants or these exclusive variants from the specialized websites for, for covers that are, you know, I mean, this is just as beautiful as those types of books. So that's why I don't think it's far-fetched to pay this type of money uh, for these this book if you missed out. And again, don't get so fixated on that, on that drop. Now, again, is this a book that's gonna hold a $15 plus value? I'm not, I'm not even here to, to say that it will or that that even matters. But it is Riri, you know, she's coming in the MCU. There can definitely be possible, you know, hype around this book or eyes on this book from for days to come. But it's not about that. It's not about that for me. It's about just a really beautiful, amazing cover that I absolutely think if you miss this and you want your hand on it and you got to fork out 12, 13, 14, maybe even $20, then that, I don't think that's a, a bad thing to do at all. I mean, I really want to hear your input on that specific book because you saw firsthand as a retailer what the demand was, people scrambling for it. Again, I mean, I'm sure it was in your hottest books. It was available there for at least a little bit, right? So what, what are your thoughts on yeah. it? Yeah, so I think it's a great pick uh, for top three. I think Sway knocked it out of the park with this cover. I think once um, Riri, you know, hits Disney+, Plus, you're going to see a lot of people hunting for, you know, Ironheart covers. Mm. And I think this is going to be, you know, a, a top on that list. I, I, yeah, I mean, the guts, there's nothing really impactful in it, I suppose. Um, but yeah, that's not why you're buying this particular variant. You're buying it because of that beautiful art. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I mean, we, you know, I think we're currently sold out of that. Um, you know, limited at one per customer, but uh, the demand was strong. And I think it's going to continue to be strong. Like you were saying, I don't know if this is always going to be a $10 plus book. Me personally, uh, I wouldn't mind paying $10 for that book if I was a fan of Ironheart and I wanted um you know, beautiful cover to display. Yeah, it, it it reminds me of the, I mean, Iron Man 13, the Sway cover with uh, with Miles. Uh, I think it was like a Bruce Lee homage too. It was like it was it was that was a beautiful cover that was really hard to get to it. This one seemed, to, in my opinion, seemed to be harder to get. Um, and I agree. Like Riri is going to absolutely explode when she makes it into the MCU, which her first MCU appearance is going to be in Black Panther two. But as we all know, they're going to start production on our show. They're already starting to cast uh, additional people. So I'm excited to see what this specific cover does. Um, Iron Man has been, <laughs> that used to be on my poll, but Iron Man has been kind of a bore <laughs> to read after a while. It was interesting to start, but man, I, I, I couldn't anymore. So I don't have this book. Uh, Chris, I hope you, you do have that uh, as well. Moving on, what is your second most interesting book of the week, Christopher? All right, this one, uh, this one caught my attention and you know what still remains in the segment even though we changed it up jeff is um you know that that's why it's called props or flops because i could still pick books that you know i might not be so enthusiastic about myself it's not about me here it's about really interesting aspects though in my number two pick is zero number one because boy is this interesting now there's a lot of data here that we're going to take in folks so this is uh, zero number one uh, from, from DC. It's the first appearance of Zero. And the reason why it made the top 10 list last week uh, is because it's been optioned by 50 Cent's production company. Very, very interesting. Now, let me just say this. I've never watched uh, the, the power shows or anything like that. I can't knock it until I try it, right? So I'm not here to sit and say 50 Cent's production stuff is garbage that's not the point but let's look at what it's been doing because of this announcement 271 percent upward trend in sales now last week's high raw when it hit the top 10 was sitting at 180 dollars fair market value out of all the raw sales was 91 now remember guys 
that's any type of grade, you know, that's a high grade, it could be mid grade, and you add them all up and divide them by the number sold. That's how you get a fair market value. This week's high raw, $71. Now, this is where we could start seeing, you know, issues in what was going on last week next to this week. This week's fair market value, $56. So if we look at the percentages in terms of uh, plus or minus, that's a 61% drop in the high sales. So if you look at last week's high of 180 compared to this week's high of 71, that is a huge drop, 61%. But if we look at the drop in the average sales, it's 38%. Now, 38% is still huge. You look at last week's fair market value of 91. You look at this week's fair market value of 56. It's a 38% drop. Now, this is what I want everyone to focus on. The average raw sale before this announcement of the, G, uh, of the 50 cent production company optioning this, $3. $3, folks. Three dollars. Wow, Jeff. I, I don't know if I even have to um, get you know express my props or flops on this, but you do. You know, this that's what the time to show. You do. Yep. Um, I I got to give this uh, uh, flops all the way. I mean, this book flops harder than a fish out of water, man. I mean, I, I like I said, I'm gonna go back to to what may come about in some live action or whatever is gonna be happening with with Fifty Cent's production company whether it's a TV show or a, or a film, I don't know. It may be great. It may be great. And if it has success, it may keep eyes on this book. And maybe it'll never be a three, $3 book ever again. But you guys can already see that if I wanted this book in a high grade and I was sitting back right now lounging on my couch, I can go online or wherever and buy this book for a large percentage less than those people that were buying it last week so that's where i just tell you take heed this is where the that option fomo you know we talk about it so much with the mcu because of the mcu's pull but i mean this is even this is a dc book with 50 cent optioning it and you have all this you know fomo going on that that in that initial week to see such a drop i just i, I couldn't touch this whatsoever personally I'm going to jump in. I know, you know, I should be polite and have our guests do it, but I'm going to jump in real quick <laughs> and say, I'm going to give a different perspective in terms, you know, and this is a new segment. We're feeling it out here, but mm -hmm. I, you know, if you're talking specifically, if these people bought, what, what was that? The, the, the high sales here was yep. Jesus. 180 <laughs> or, or maybe they were paying around 90, that 90 average. As opposed to the $3 it was. Oh my God. That, that's a flop. No doubt about yeah. that. And uh, however, as the heat dies down here, 50 cent, 50 cent is a proven commodity. 50 Cent produces a ton of content on, uh, what is it? I don't know, Stars or whatever it is. Stars, yep. uh, he His production company produces. That's what they do. He's had a successful run at it. Yeah, he's he's a hip-hop uh, star, a uh, superstar. Um, but, like, but he's also ventured out into other businesses, too, and has been successful at it. With that being said... They option this. Once this thing dies down a little bit down the road, I would, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, you know, I'd pick it up for 10, 15 bucks if I see it out in the, the wild. No doubt about that. That's a good bet because option does not mean greenlit and in production, but with a proven track record of these production companies that have brought th this type of, th that have brought content, uh, you know, to the big screen, small screen, what have you, it's a good bet. I'm going to bring up another example too, Department of Truth. Whoever, I, I can't remember the production company's name, but they produced Chernobyl on HBO, which was a fantastic series. I, I, you know, I put a lot of stock into that. So, Ivan, your thoughts? Yeah, I'd, I'd have to say props to the speculators who were able to capitalize on the initial buzz and, you know, make a killing. Those who paid um, $3 for the book, right? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Right. Uh, I, I'd, I'd caution anyone. I'd say this is probably a book that you might still be able to find in the back bins, yes. you know, for a reasonable yep. price. So please do look for it if you're into finding that book. But me personally, and I'm, I'm not, I'm the last person to yuck anybody's yum, but uh, I don't get it. <laughs> I have never heard that you know, expression before. <laughs> I don't get it. So for me personally, it is a flop. Yeah. Okay. And I, I want to make clear here too. The proper flop 
for this segment is based on that you know the the the, the snapshot of the of these books hitting the top 10 and looking what they've done over this last week so Fair. yeah just like just like yeah just like ivan said you know anybody that may, maybe they just bought it because they liked it or they had the book but if anybody was out having I, I don't know who would even speculate on this book specifically but i've been saying like guys everyone's so focused on marvel 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 mcu 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 go buy some dc stuff you yeah. know and, and hey maybe somebody picked up a few copies of this for for three bucks each then yeah props to them but in in the context of the show and jeff to to, to what you said too um I, I do agree but i think we do have to look at the fact that if you bring that graphic up again you know 10 to 15 dollars on average for this book is still you, you know way more than 60 percent from where the average is right now even though that average has already dropped 38 percent so it would have th this book would have to come tumbling down really fast but True. to your point though it might just do that <laughs> because of what what it's done this <laughs> last week yeah I, it's it's tumbling <laughs> it's tumbling all right moving on you're Third most interesting book from this list. What do you got? All right, guys, this is it. Now, uh, I wanted to, you know, being that this is a, a, you know, new segment and how we're doing this, I wanted to pick a fresh book, but I, I'm picking a book that I picked last week. But it's still fun because I think it's important to look at what this book has been doing. So my number one pick, New Avengers, number seven, first appearance of the Illuminati. And... Uh, Funny, we just talked about you know Patrick Stewart making some more comments on on uh, you know his voice being in the in the trailer for Multiverse of Madness, maybe hinting at the fact that this really could be of the Illuminati in this film. But let's look at the numbers, and then I will break it down. A seventy nine percent upward trend in sales. So of course the book is still you know moving in terms of units. A week prior, remember we talked about it. That high nine point eight was at 700 so last week when it made the list again that high 9.8 dropped down to 550 and as you can see there that's a 150 dollar drop which is a 21 percent decrease but again folks don't don't get so caught up on the the, the high sales you know if, if you want more context of why i'm not going to explain that here i have made videos discussing that but let's just move on to this uh, the numbers of what it's done this week, $500 since last week's list. So again, a slight drop. That's just 9% down. A 29% total drop, though, over the last two weeks. Now, I think when we look at the average raw, this is going to put things in a bit of a better perspective in terms of indications of what it's doing on the market. So when it made the list last week, Average raw was sitting at $72, whereas this week it is currently sitting at about $59. That's an 18% decrease in value. And, you know, I mean, look, 18% is still a substantial amount, but I don't, I don't see this as necessarily a horribly bad thing. That it, it, what what's bad is is the 9.8. And that's why, you know, Jeff, you and I, we talk often about, especially for modern books that get the hype because of even just a rumor, not even an official announcement or anything, we advise to be careful with going after the 9.8s. You know, even when this book was hitting over $100 in the high raw a couple weeks past, I would have rather paid $100, $120 for maybe even two copies raw, sent them out to CGC. And if one of them comes back a 9.8, even after I paid to press and clean them, I still have so much more money in my pocket than I did paying that $700. Then I did pay in that 550. And now this week, hitting that 500 mark. So do I know if this book is going to continue to see kind of decreases over the next couple of weeks? I can't tell you that. But the one thing that I did say about this book, regardless of the value that it's going for, I think this is a very feasible spec. Out of all the things that came out of the Doctor Strange trailer, this is very feasible. But you know what they say? You know about the early word getting the worm so you're you're missing the boat trying to go after it paying these prices and once again i could sit here on my couch right here pick up my phone and most likely buy this book in a nice decent copy for 
a decent amount cheaper than what I would have paid for it last week. And then even cheaper than what I would have paid for it two weeks before when it was on the top 10 list then. So props or flops. This is a tough one because, you know, there, there's a lot of pros and, and cons here, folks. Um, but I am going to give this book props. But there's an asterisk there. I'm giving the book props for staying on this list for multiple weeks now, especially now that we have. And remember, this, li this list was made before. Patrick Stewart came out with that statement this mm -hmm. week. So the, the reason why I'm giving it props is because even though I think it's a huge risk to even pay the prices where it's at now, you're getting it better now than what you did a couple weeks ago. And we might see this book on the list next week again. And we might see the prices actually go up again because of the Patrick Stewart comments. That's a good point. Ivan, your thoughts. After the Patrick Stewart news, I uh, so uh, I can't I can't tell the future, but I definitely think that we might be seeing an inflection point. And next week it might be on the list and certainly perhaps appreciably higher. So props for sure. I gosh, this is, again, I'm feeling this segment now, guys. Like my my thoughts are long-term hold, I'd say I, I wouldn't if we're just going by the data. I'd say props too, but I'm not, I'm just going to say, I don't think this is a long-term hold. I think you have an infinite amount of time, which is probably two months. If I do my math correctly, two months before uh, Dr. Strange comes out, I don't see the Illuminati being a major part of the MCU going forward. That's yeah. my opinion on it. Let me, uh, let me give you a perspective. Let, here's some perspective, Jeff. Go ahead. If, if we did the segment the way we're doing it right now, when I picked the book, a couple of weeks ago, remember? And it was at the $700 yeah. high. I would have gave it flops Okay, that week, that week. So it is, it really does pertain to looking at what's going on. So, and here's the, here's another thing. How about this for some, some hypothetical, some hypothetical context. If it makes the list again next week, right? And say it's, you know, up again because of the trailer or, you know, it's at that 700 mark, or maybe, who knows, maybe it goes even higher than 700 in a, a 9.8 raw. If I pick it, and, and look, I, I may I may be um, giving my picks away next week if this happens. I, I'd give it, I'd give it flops again next week okay. because of, because of that, because I, I'm, like you said, Jeff, there is so much riding on this to where, you do most likely have a finite amount of time. And I did talk about last week how you never know. You never know how they can play the Illuminati. They could have them kind of in the background showing up here and there a little bit, kind of like they've done Nick Fury. Uh, but uh, to your point, and who, who was who was, who, who was with us that said, um, maybe they'll just, Wanda will, will kill them all too. I mean, there, there's so many. <laughs> I, 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 that was Tishu that said that. I do believe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. I think that was who it was. Yeah, and who knows? Honestly, again, like this one, I wouldn't touch this one. Even even if it's a dip right now, I still wouldn't touch this book. No way. That's yeah. my opinion. So I would still give it flops, but that's my opinion. And I, I understand the numbers look good. I want to, and I'll, I do want to end the segment because we haven't said it yet this week. But remember, folks, whether we give a book props, whether yeah. we give it flops, however we talk about it, we're not here to. Um, you know, tell you what to buy or even what not to buy. You, you know, you guys do what you want to do. We're just a few random dudes sitting, talking about comics. We're bringing up some data. I hope you guys use that data to kind of harness uh, uh, you understanding what is in your best interest when you guys are making your purchasing decisions. So that's that's very important. To, yeah, Chris and I just real quick. say that. If it's worth $900 to you, spend the $900. You will be happy that you did. Uh, Chris, all of us, Chris, Ivan, myself, we have opinions. We'll share those opinions with you, but don't let us say it's wrong or right either way. If it's right to you, it's right to you. Have at it. Yeah. Let me just ask one thing because you said you wouldn't touch this with a 10 foot pole. Let me ask, you know, after the movie comes out, you know, let's assume that it's, um, you know, it's not exactly the appearance we wanted. Do you see a floor on this issue? I mean, do you think this is ever going to be a dollar bin issue? No, it'll never, ever be a dollar bin issue again. Uh, 
But do I think it's going to let, let me bring up these numbers here, these crazy numbers again. I mean, I can't I'm not going to speculate how much it's going to be like, again, the floor. But gee, I don't even think it's going to be close to fifty nine dollars. Yeah. I'll be honest. I, I Again, I think it's going to be a fifteen, twenty dollar book at, at most. Now, granted, if they do something bigger with the Illuminati, which I don't right, think right. they will do, but I could absolutely be wrong. It's happened before. But, I, you know, that then this book will be of value to a lot of people and uh, people will see potential in it. So that's that's Fair what enough. I have to say about it. That, that's that's, you know, again, I hope that answers your question. It does. Thank you. And I appreciate you taking the reins of being a guest co-host, too, and putting <laughs> us on the spot. Good job with that. All right. That right there ends the top 10 look back props or flops. We're going to have another fun segment next week.